everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is how I blow dry my hair and have a Dyson. Um, so I'm going to do a voiceover for part of this because it's a lot easier because I remember last time I did a blow drying video. It was so hard to get through because I have to keep stopping to explain what I was doing. So it was so frustrating. So I'm going to explain it um, over voiceover. Um, but I always like towel dry my hair with a cotton t-shirt. Um, it's just less abrasive on your hair um, and I more squeeze my hair than shake it together and um, more like give it a little squeeze to get all the moisture out but as much as possible and then I've been using some Olaplex number seven um, I've only been using it like a maybe like two months um, and to be honest I don't know if I see too much of a difference um, but my hair is definitely better than it was because it's in really bad condition the last couple of months um, because I was bleaching it so much so maybe there is like more of um, maybe it is in better condition than I think it is just because my hair has been gone through a whole moment itself now normally if you brush your hair at home you start from the bottom and work your way up and um, don't be pulling your hair like me um, so when I was bleaching my hair because I initially wanted to go blonde then I went back pink but to go blonde I had to bleach it up and all these bits were like this long and they just went so short my hair was so um, knotty I actually got about two inches off <coughs> um, my face is all red my eyes and stuff because I, um, I've done like three makeup looks today so that's why my face feels a little red um, yeah, I was going to show you how I blow dry with a bit of volume. For the life of me, I can't find a bigger brush than this one. So I'm going to have to really rely on the rollers for the volume. So these are the two size rollers I'm using. Pink one and the size blue one. Um, I like my hair when the blow dry to not have it too curly. So that's why I get slightly bigger rollers. Um, but you could use a lot smaller ones if you did want your hair like super curly. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just prepare everything. I think that's the main thing when you're like doing your own hair is everyone, you know, you don't get everything ready and then it always seems like it's a bigger job than it is. Um, and then you want to just dry off your hair 70%. So I'm gonna do that. First. I'm gonna just do that and I'll come back on the camera. I'm gonna dry it off 70 to 90 percent. You literally need your hair barely damp to do this. Thank you. 